right, so before you go watch this video, um, let me just tell you that it's kind of, it's, it's pretty stupid. Um, it's basically just a bunch of useless ramble by me just looking at this stuff. Um, to sum it up, a lot of these files are either unknown to me how to use them or unknown to pretty much everyone as of right now how to use them. People still need to play with them a little bit to figure it out. Maybe people already have figured it out, but I have not, and I am... People who are better at Python and stuff will probably be able to figure this out, but um, I'm not very good at Python, so. Yep, thanks for watching. Um, I don't know if you want to watch the rest of this video, but if you do, yeah, it's kind of boring. Just me messing around with it, so, yeah. If you are courageous enough to do that, thanks, I guess. <laughs> don't forget to leave a like, and yeah, hope you enjoy. Alright, what's up? Um, today we're going to be looking at the recent leaks from the NSA's hacking tools by the Shadow Broker Group. Um, I will leave a link to the GitHub depository. I would be careful using this stuff because it can probably get you in some trouble if you really do hack someone with it. Um, just having it won't get you in trouble because there's so many people that have it right now. Um, it's impossible to go away, but let's just see. Um, there's no way of knowing for sure if this was a hack or if there was someone on the inside. I'm assuming there was someone on the inside. Um, I general we were able to get in contact with the general, but he did not say anything. Um, so yeah, well, not really a general, but never mind, <laughs> never mind. So I'm gonna open the terminal up here. I don't really know how any of this works. I have a um, OWASP broken web apps virtual machine running here. We can test some of these on it um, yeah so a lot of these are very complicated so we're gonna go to Linux here um, readme.md uh, it's pretty basically the same thing it's on the github uh -huh, yeah so this is made for the yeah so we're gonna go ahead and start off I looked at some of these a while ago um, let's look at this alarm.py. Okay, so it's just. Uh, do not know what this. So it's saying it's for an alarm. It's an alarm script. Um, let me look up. Uh, yeah, okay, so we're not going to mess with that today. Let's use this Apache SSL Linux. Now let's let's try and use this. Um. So. Um. Max number of open connections. How many just just try? What is this? Uh, what does Tech A do? The free location found via OBJ dump. Yeah, see, so this is pretty complicated stuff here. Um, at least for me, maybe the hacking god. Let's look at B. I don't really know what this stuff's supposed to do. I know, I know, but we'll see here. Doesn't does not. No such file or directory. Um, let me see. Yeah, I know this is kind of a boring video. Dectelnet.sh. Huh. I'm assuming this is pre compiled. No, it is not. 
What programming language is this? My his SH. Rat port then. Must be between ten five and quick sync. Oh shoot. Oh um this is this is for a rat, I think. Let me see. Dectelnet that's at dot sh. Let's see what this is for. See what okay. Well, let's let's try it out. Um, let's just go ahead and execute it to see what's going on. See what it does. Um, here, what is? Where is it? Operation made bleak. All right. Actually, no. Might have to type this whole thing in it. Command N on Kai. Uh huh. Then CD to. Nope, can't tab that out. If I can. Where is it? Again. LS. Usage redirecting port on currently redirecting with jackpop. Um, rat default option is used, but if rat port isn't given and null open is not being used, the final argument must be nosy to send the older syntax up. No, you may now set preset any slash all the following environment variables if you can jackpop with depth till net. Let's see what depth. Let's see what jackpop is. What is jackpot? Um, let's see, jackpot script. I'm getting a lot of CSGO. Um, All the needs to check. I know this is not a freaking. I know this is not. Um, I know this is not a freaking. What's it called? I don't. I don't. Whatever. <laughs> I know this isn't for um, CSGO. You will be prompted for the two a p m. RA redi redirector address. Let's see. Um, right. What is this? I I literally have no idea. Let me distort my voice for this one, just be just in case, you know. Uh, let's 
let's see, sudo.py, you know what, let's run that, python sudo.py, sudo.py stock file user hostname.ip um sock file okay it's gonna take people a while to figure out how to use this um it'll happen egg basket egg timer empty bowl.py Yeah, okay, I got it, I got it. Um, see, they're just, look, they're magic jack. Let's see, I've heard something about this. Um, there's no comments, there's nothing. It's not telling you anything about these. These are used to be for the, yes, there is. Um, I'm just not looking. Self version, self client long. What is this? It looks like a patch. Um, and the string to return value. Print if self server. So we're talking about. Wow, this is a very, very high level script here. Um, sending file, reading file. If data equals OK, print upload succeeded. CMD if self dot options dot before. Hmm, I think I know what this is. Um, it might be a file uploader of some sort. I just don't know. Self options results equals self dot send command self. Mm. <sighs> Must supply both callback IP and port. Do I want to try? I'm going to try using this magic jack client here. Um, let's see. Slash bin. Pretty weird video I'm making here, but um, can't zero. Must supply ADR port and group. Hmm. ADDR. Let's look up what that is. key well the key should be in here actually I think these I think these hashes are the keys let me see actually I think that's a piece of security they put in there where they hashed something to make the key um, So it looks like you're making a whole directory here. Um, decrypting data. So, okay. Let's, let's look at the second one here. What 
is this dude? This is insane. Whatever's going on here is insane. Um... What was another one? I tell me about SH. I can't exactly. The spawn telnet wrapper. Spawn fit shell telnet mode forced report. Type spawn nav spawn and then spawn fit spawn. Play stream echo deck and your button spawn and your base land via MMT spawn before the telnet mode. Echo Daddy, are you are you sure you want to? I mean, read A N S. So hmm. this um, let's let's try tell me that's S H. What is this, dude? All right. Let's see. Let's, let's look at one more of these things, and that'll be the rest of the video. Um, I don't know what this video was, but let's be. Let's. Basically, this is a very, very big leak. Um, this is a huge leak. Wow. All right. Well, thanks for watching. I don't know why you'd watch this far in the video, but. If you did, thanks for watching. I know I didn't really do anything at all, but, you know, I'm just looking at this thing. So thanks for watching. Peace.